Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we are at the back of the truck once again because we do have a new product. This is something that I have been waiting on for a little while. Uh, this is another Echo E-Force battery system product. So this is the Echo DSRM 2600 17 inch brushless string trimmer. So the last string trimmer I got from Echo actually was in a box about half this size and it came shipped in two pieces and folded up. So evidently this model here does not have a break in the middle of it in order for them to be able to fold it up. Now I know that they actually do another model that's like their DPAS models that allow you to attach other attachments and stuff to it, which it breaks right in the middle and then that way you can add different attachments and stuff to it. But I wanted to get this specific model mainly because I wanted to see if, if the string trimmer itself being designated as a string trimmer is going to be a better string trimmer than a multi-purpose tool. Or at least that's kind of my thought behind it. If you get a designated tool for one job, it should be kind of the best at doing that job. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box to see what all's in here. Should be the whole kit, battery charger and trimmer. We'll see if there is any assembly and then we're gonna go try it out. So this is the way that it comes in the box. It's all together. It is one piece. There is no break here in the shaft in order to take it apart. So this is a pretty simple kit. We've got the battery charger. We've got the five amp hour battery. One thing I'm a little disappointed with, with Echo's new E4 system, is that all their kits come with the standard charger, but they do offer a rapid charger as an option. And the rapid charger cuts your charge time in half, but it costs a hundred bucks. So to me, you would think with some of these kits like this string trimmer kit right here is $399. You would think they would actually include the rapid charger with that instead of making you pay another hundred bucks and then have a charger, a standard charger that's just gonna be sitting collecting dust while you're using your rapid charger. So you'd have $500 in this tool and then a charger that's sitting on the shelf. So I don't know, I just wish they would make that as an option or even maybe you know, do it as a $20 uh, add-on, you know, if this charger costs 79 bucks or 89 bucks or something, then have an optional rapid charger with it that you could just add 20 bucks to it and get the rapid charger instead of the standard. Anyways, that's, that's really kind of my only complaint with this system. These batteries take two and a half hours to charge, and that's a lot more than what a lot of the competitors take to charge their batteries. This particular model, or DSRM 2600, is actually in their X series line of tools. So their X series being their professional series. So this is aimed at the professional user, the landscaper or somebody like that, that's wanting a professional grade tool to use day in and day out. I can definitely tell a huge difference between this trimmer and their old 58 volt series trimmer. Now that trimmer worked really good and it, it actually had uh, plenty of power. The battery life was really good on it but you can tell an overall feel of the comfort and the way things are thought out on this one. Just the, the grip and uh, the, the distance even from the factory that all this is set up. Now all this is adjustable. You can make it you know suit your needs, but this one's set up straight out of the box, feels like it's ready to use. Plus something that has a big change on the old model, the trigger on it would actually wear you out. It would really, it actually kind of make your hand cramp because of the stiffness to that trigger. But on this particular one, it feels completely different than what the old trigger system did. So I'm glad to see that they improved that. This one also has the motor back here in the housing as opposed to up in the head of the trimmer, which really changes the balance of this trimmer. You know, the other one has that heavy motor out on the end and it makes it really nose heavy the handle on this is also more of a plastic with a rubber coating on it, whereas their old handle actually had a plastic handle with a foam cover on it. And that foam cover just seemed like it you never could, I don't know, it just didn't feel all that comfortable. It didn't really have like a D handle shape, kind of had like a little peak in the middle that made it not, I don't know, it just never was real comfortable. It done the job and it felt soft to your hand, but this one just feels a lot more sturdy 
more professional. This model is 17 inch, so your, your trimmer line uh, should have a 17 inch diameter cutting width. It also comes with the Speed Feed 400 head on it. So whenever it comes time to change the line, it is super easy and super fast. It does have the Echo, I believe they call this silent twist, uh, but it's like a, a twisted top line with cutting edges on it. I usually use their black diamond. So once this runs out, I'll probably end up going to that because I've just had really good luck with it. And it seems like a really strong line. So another thing a little different about this one, it does not have the slider switch on it like the old one did, but it has a power button on it. You push the power, that activates the trimmer. So then now you're ready to go ahead and squeeze the trigger. And then it has three speed settings on it. So we're at low right now. You can push the plus button. And that speeds you up to medium. And then you've got the plus button again. That'll take you up to high. And it does seem like it gets up to speed really quick, but depending on the job that you're doing, this speed control could really make a difference. If you're trimming around a fence or something, this could really save your line because you can turn it down on the low setting and then you're not accidentally like bumping it up to full speed and you know going around a chain link fence and tearing your line up. It will actually help make your line last longer. So another cool thing too with actually having to activate the system by hitting the power button uh, it keeps you from accidentally pulling the trigger if you're transporting it or storing it somewhere and somehow that the safety release up here gets hit and your trigger gets hit at the same time, maybe it gets put in a rack on a truck and it squeezes both sides or something, uh, then you're, you're not able to start the trimmer without pushing the power button and activating the system. Now, this will automatically shut off if you don't squeeze the trigger within a certain time. I, I'm not sure what it is, just a few minutes. But if you don't activate or don't squeeze the trigger, the, uh, the trimmer will automatically turn off or you can just hit the power button again and it deactivates it so you can't use it. So I'm really excited to go try this thing out. I've got to wait a little while for the battery to charge up. So it's been a little over two hours and we now have the battery charged up. So as you can see, we are at four bars on here fully charged, ready to go. The battery on this, it's a little bit different. It slides in from the side instead of in from the top and then kind of makes up the rest of the housing and kind of looks like a conventional uh, gas motor trimmer. And it actually kind of feels like it with all the weight being right back here at the back. So speaking of weight, this thing is 11.9 pounds with the battery. So it's actually really reasonable weight. Let's take this thing down, put it in some grass and try it out. And I'll give you my first impressions and thoughts on this. This is also, this is going to be a long-term item. So we're going to be using this anytime we weed eat, this is probably going to be the one I go to, unless I just happen to have used up the batteries or something and they're not available, then I might switch off and use something else. But this is going to be our main trimmer, at least probably for this year. And that way I can give you a good long-term review on this. And we're going to be using it around, you know, the farm and residential both and putting it through quite a bit of use. So we're going to start on low just to get an idea of the, the torque and the power of it. I gotta say, I'm already pretty impressed with the power of it on the low setting. So I'm gonna go on up to the medium and try that out.
go on up to the ha. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> my first impressions on this thing, I've got to say, are very positive. Now, the battery did not go completely dead, but we are down to one bar. I could feel it actually just to, right before I quit. I, I was thinking, I was like, oh, it feels like it lost a little bit of power right there. So I'd say the battery's just about to give up, but we still got a lot of work done on this one battery. And I really, couldn't be happier with the outcome of this. I was happy with their 58 volt version, but I definitely believe that this one beats it out because it seems like it's a little bit more thought out in terms of uh, comfort and usability, the balance of the machine. It feels more like a conventional gas trimmer, you know, with all the weight kind of back here on the back. Your trimmer head is nice and light. Uh, it does, you know, it's, it basically has your standard it's got your motor back here and it's got the shaft just like a regular trimmer, which kind of makes me wonder if you can actually put like a blade or something on here too. I know they actually make a specific model that's called a brush cutter that you can put a blade on, but I don't see why that you couldn't put it on this one also. But this is a designated string trimmer and that's all they list it as. 
So if, if a person did try that, it'd be at their own risk or whatever, because you know they don't list this as being anything other than a 17 inch string trimmer. So with that being said, I believe this is definitely my new favorite. I like this using this better than gas. I like it better than the fit old 58 volt. And I also have an Atlas 80 volt trimmer that I do like this better than it also. I like having the three speed option because you can really tone it down like if you're trying to cut around a fence or walls and that kind of stuff that might be really, uh, you know, might really wear on your trimmer line. But then if you get into this heavy stuff like we're in here, you can turn the power up to, to the high setting. And by the way, all the, all the stuff that I've done on this other than just the initial start was pretty much done on the high setting. So the runtime on it, even on the high setting is actually really good. I didn't time this out here, but, I, but based on the amount of work that I got done, I'm very happy with it. So something to stay tuned for in the future. You know, I actually do a timed run to see how long the battery actually lasts when you're using it. I actually did a video with the old 58 volt version. I took that to my mom's house and she lives on a place where there, it's one acre and there's quite a bit of trimming and stuff. And I was surprised with the amount of work that I got done here that I actually could not trim her entire property on one battery. I had to go into a second battery. It took like one and a half batteries. So I'm curious to see whether this one actually makes more progress. I did trim a lot here and I'm very impressed with it. So as far as the battery runtime goes, you know, I, I really couldn't ask for, for much better than this. Initial thoughts, I really do like this trimmer. Like I said, this is gonna be a long-term trimmer. It's gonna be here. I'm gonna be using it pretty much all the time, especially since I like it so much. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really goes a long way in helping out our channel. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and when you do, hit that little bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload new videos, and we'll see you on the next one.